Um, so she says, uh, I, I want to go, you know, to Atlanta, this, any other. And I'm like, I don't want to be a prop on your friend's trip. That's not what you I said. feel like the only, what I say? You said I have plans to go to California already. I booked my flight because. Okay. Yeah. Right. And I said, and I don't want to be a prop you on your friend's trip. I did say that. I said, you already want to go to Atlanta. You want to go and you want to bring me to Atlanta. I don't want to do that. That's not a us thing. This is a you and your friends thing and you want to bring me because they're bringing them. As a matter of fact, has your mom called me already? No. No, she hadn't called me already. Mm -mm. Because Okay, so I didn't want to go to Atlanta. Mm. I didn't want to go. All my friends know I didn't want to go. They just kept asking me about it. Like, are you sure? I didn't want to go because I didn't think my, my dad would want to go. Mm -hmm. So when they kept asking me, I'm like, okay, let me ask him. Let me, if he wants to go, then I'll get excited about going because then I'll be out there with my dad. You right. know, we'll Y'all out there time. with y'all dad. Exactly. Right. I didn't want to go. I'm just like, mm, I don't want to go. Like, stop talking to me about it. So when I asked him, and I'm like, okay, if you want to go, then I'll get excited. That's why I came to him. I was like, we should go because, you know, I'll, I'll be excited if we both go. You are. I know. I find it. Listen, I don't like calling my daughter a fibber. <laughs> I, you, I, I, for, I have a hard time calling my daughter a fibber. I love you a lot. But I also know a 20 year old <laughs> young lady and her friends in Atlanta, real housewives, <laughs> loving hip hop, the allure, blonde <laughs> hair, hot girl. <laughs> wants to turn up the town when you're in college and you're with your college people if we say we going to virginia beach tron where we going right. we're going to virginia beach right. if we say we going to myrtle beach we going to myrtle beach we is me we means all of us if i'm going you going she going she going we out mm -hmm. if we only got one car it's eight of us in there somebody's in the trunk somebody's laying across the back seat or three people on the on the thing two people in the front seat yep we going we out i'm not dumb this I didn't really want to go. I, did, they, I don't it was a like Father's Day trip. So what do mm. I feel like? I need like I didn't want to go. I just came back twice. Nobody wanted to come with me to Georgia. When I asked them to come with me, when I was there twice, I didn't want to go. I didn't so, want to go. So now you want to go. I say, okay. I'm going to Cali. You're welcome to come to Cali. But I just paid the ticket to six forty. So however you was getting to Atlanta. You can get to Cali. I'm going to tell you. I'm explaining to y'all why. Because that might be the only mistake I've made here. I knew she wanted to go to Atlanta. I also know she didn't have the money to get to Atlanta. So that meant she got the money to get to Atlanta from somewhere. I also knew she hadn't bought the ticket yet. She had not bought the ticket yet. So if you want to go to Atlanta, you made it happen. Make it happen to come to Cali. She knows I give her money all the time take care of her all the time but i didn't want to give her an offer she couldn't refuse because i knew she wanted to go with her friends to atlanta don't just try to make it seem it's about me right now that was a test i spoke to my bm ra we spoke she said you should never put people to a test mm -hmm. normally somebody fails and it blows up in both your faces right this is what my baby mother said by the way me and Rashida talk all the time unless a man's around we can't talk mm -hmm. whatever <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever I felt like yo if she really wants to go she'll figure out a way and she'll come back to me I don't think she's going to come up with a whole 600 something dollars but she's going to come with something and a plan because that's what she does that's what she does she's not no little kid no more putting it to the test I want to see mm -hmm. she walks away like mm, alright no I said I'm staying home <laughs> Because that's not like it was the Get way he the said it. It, it was wasn't like, no way. It wasn't. If somebody wow. says to you, if it's like if they, if he says wow. to you like you're adding you're you're adding verbal stop. context. It's never the, it's never what you say. It, it's never what you're say. It's how you say it. It's, you're never, what say. it's how you say it. it's never what you say. It's how you say it. And you said, well, the ticket is six forty, and I'm not paying for it. You paid for it, so so I'm like, mm, I'm staying home <laughs> 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 because it wasn't like a if you can figure out a way, you know. Then I'll help you, and then we could just go. It was a, well, this, pay for this it is, or. Your Honor, this is hearsay. Who's, who's the judge? This is hearsay. I don't know. Yes, me? Yes. 
slit. This is this is hearsay. You're you're adding tone that it did that wasn't there. Um, you were, you perceived were tone is right a thing. That's not how he came off. What? And he was with the hands in his chair after he just finished eating his sandwich. He's uh, like, it was the rainbow chair, by the way. Was it? Don't. It was the. It was a small chair. I would not. I would not make that up. First of all, first of all. Her impression of you is spot on. <laughs> there was no tone. I'm like, yo. If- oh, now it's not a tone, but it's a no. perceived tone. Perce- that doesn't mean that. They- that doesn't mean to my what I meant. Whatever she perceived doesn't mean doesn't what I matter. Meant. Oh wait, fine, fine. Because you said the same thing about Boom. me. Wait, Boom. what? Yeah, that's aggressive. Okay. <laughs> is wait what aggressive? It depends on how you say it. It's exactly. not what you say; it's how you say it. Thank you. Perceived tone. Yeah. Keep going. You're not going to... Why are you looking away? <laughs> <laughs> she looks like she's made that argument to you before, but continue. <clears throat> day goes by. Day goes by. Yeah, y'all all have. It's fine. Right? Day goes by. Another day goes by. What time... What day did we have this conversation? The final conversation? Thursday. Thursday. Thursday comes. I'm no, it's Friday. No, it's, it's Thursday. Friday. That's the day I had my permit test. Thursday, because you was leaving on Friday. Mm-hmm. That's absolutely true. I have my dates together. Okay, her mom calls me. This girl is going to Atlanta. I think it's wrong. This is your Father's Day weekend. She told you. You told her she can go with you to California. She chose to go to Atlanta instead. I'm like, w- without you. And I'm like, okay, well, because I'm always half her side. I'm like, if I was 20, I would go to Atlanta too. It's what I expected. I don't think that you should be arguing with her about our issue. I'm not mad. I expected her to go to Atlanta because that's what I would have did. And it's fine. She and I will talk. We'll figure it out. And it is what it is, right? I'm like, I'm going to call her because she had been... Try, I guess trying to get to me before her mom. I don't know if y'all had a conversation or what What was going on with that. She actually, because I asked her, I'm like, Mom, what should I do? I told her about the price and everything. She's like, you know, as my mom, she should be like, well, if you want to go to Ellie with your dad, I'll help you pay for it. She didn't say anything. She was just like. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, so, but I'm like, but if I stay home, I'm going to be bored either way. She's like, um. Well, and I'm like, if I come to Georgia, are you going to like, because I, I know if I go out there and I don't see you, you're going to have an issue. She's like, just send me the address to stuff. If you come out here, let me know what hotel. Like, she was literally. Setting up the place. For, exactly. So when she called you and tried to switch up, that's what that's what really pissed me off. Because I'm like, don't play in my face. <laughs> so now the mom calls me. I call her. Hey, what's up? How's your day going? She don't know that I know she's already booked her flight to Atlanta. What's going on with you? How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> so, anything new <laughs> <laughs> going on? No, not really. So when are you going to tell me that you was going to Atlanta? She's like, what? Wait, what? <laughs> When are you going to tell me that you was going to Atlanta and without wait, your what father? was confusion because you had no idea now how he found what? out, right? So you're what? like, wait, what? No, Until I just thought he just was like... Putting it together. I knew that you made your decision. Right. Because she knows I come up with things out the blue and I'd be right. Sometimes, but continue. Like when I knew that you had the birth control shot in your arm and shit. This is like this whole different conversation. <laughs> right. Because you had a Band-Aid on out of nowhere. Can you please? And didn't know where the Band-Aid came from. <laughs> She's like, what's that been? Because you asked me I that out of nowhere. Like, you ain't give me no time to come up with a story. You just what? on the spot. <laughs> <on the ground. laughs> so I had to say something. It's out of nowhere. I'm like, what's the band-aid? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have no story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't know where the band-aid came from. All right. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I know where the band-aid came from. That's a weird spot to have a band-aid. Fold it. Cut in my looked at me and was like, right there. Like they, they like you gonna tell them, like if you gonna say. I'm like I don't know. I had blood work done today. That's what I was trying to get at, but gotta I don't know. Was that. a quick giveaway. You gotta be I don't know what's, that. But. Yeah, she's all right. Back to the original story. 
Where am I? Oh, um, so you're not going to tell me that you was going to Atlanta? She's like, um, can we talk? Can we get in the crib? Can, like, can, can you? you he's um, walking I'm, down I'm, the street. I've been calling him all day. He don't be answering, playing phone tag. Would you want to call me and ask me? So you're going to tell me? Come in the house. Let's talk about it in, in like in person. Why well, you got to press me over the phone after I was just calling you three times? She's doing answer. me the same. I don't know. It's the same. I don't know. Answer. So I'm like, cool. We, I finally get to the crib and I'm like, your mom already told me that you're going. You bought your ticket. You wasn't thinking about coming to Cali or nothing. She's like, my mother, y'all are going to gang up. I click, click, click. You did not hang do up on yeah, her. Yeah, he did because I don't like that. I already don't like that. You already talking about my mother. My mother is already like flip floppy. And you like, she already told you. So I already, it's like, it seems like y'all in sync. Mm-hmm. Y'all playing Y'all in like cahoots. You called me after she called you. You're like, y'all already had, And I don't like that because she don't even know what she's talking about half the time. So when you called me, it, it was like. <laughs> <laughs> Not half the time. <laughs> Seriously. So I really felt, I felt attacked. And I, but that's my thing though. I always feel like somebody's coming at me. So Capricorn. Capricorn. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I was like. I don't like that. Like y'all just nobody. Doing the most. But I literally defend her. But don't play around. Like you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. You already know. You've made your plans. You've bought your ticket. You're you've you've done what you've done. So you're playing in my face. A little. Because you know. It's a little. Why play are play. you playing around? You know what you did. You made a decision. Mm-hmm. And you, you gathered didn't your want to brand. Tell you you mm-hmm. didn't okay. try. So so boom. I have a question before mm-hmm. you finish. You know he was going to Cali. Were you gonna not say shit until he went to Cali and then just dip off to Georgia? No, no, no. Cause I have to. I let him know every time I'm leaving. Mm-hmm. Even though he's like, "Why are you telling me?" Just I let him get the fuck out of here. And when I told you I wanted to go to Aspen, you said, "Why are you telling me?" Aspen. Yeah, I wanted to go to Aspen. I said I wanted. Was it to go because to it's Colorado? He was no, like, "No, I told him I was going to Puerto Rico." Oh no, you he's told like, me twice. I told him I was going to Georgia. He's like. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh my God! I drove you. Yes, because I actually took me to the airport, but I had to tell you I was going to Georgia. I let we you had know a whole things. conversation about you going. Why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> we literally, you literally the asked me time, if you should go, and that, I convinced you as to I why. Said, I said, "Daddy, I gotta talk to you." And he's he's like, "About what?" I'm like, "I gotta go to Georgia." He's like. You're pregnant. No, first he said, I, got, I said, I got to talk to you. He said, you're pregnant? I'm like, no. <laughs> He's like, I got to go to Georgia. He's like, your mom has cancer? I'm like, no. What? He's like, okay, it's so your then- fucking problem. Because she's coming with this energy that's like dark. And then he's dark. like, okay, well, when are you leaving? I'm like, I'm supposed to be leaving this day. He's like, okay, well, I need you to be here for the weekend to watch your brother. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> that's all the conversa- conversation was. No, The next not. day, I said, daddy, I, I wanted to talk to you about if I should really go or not because this, that, and the third. But at first, when I told you that I was going to Georgia, you were just like, okay, well, this I need to This is the Capricorn the shit I'm talking about. Why is it that this had this conversation had to be broken up into two, two conversations? Because you tried to Capricorn. make it seem like... What? I am, I am, I am off-putting. That's it. It's not that, di- not that big a deal. Okay. I'm having a conversation and you stopped and went away so, uh, and then so, we gathered yourself to have to talk about it the next day. Why? Fine. Let's get back to the thing at Right, hand, okay. So hand. I was going to tell you... When? Maybe that day that you... That you have decided to go to a Father's Day barbecue instead of you've gathered the money to go to Atlanta and go to a Father's Day barbecue without your father and not even said, hey, let's spend this time together before I leave anything. You're, I'm out. I'm going with my friends that I don't want to go to, by the way. I don't even want to go, but I'm spending hundreds of dollars. I've gathered hundreds of dollars to go. And I'm not telling you nothing. Atlanta was... Four hundred dollars cheaper than LA. It was four hundred dollars cheaper. It than was two hundred, literally two hundred and forty dollars. Because I know how much you borrowed it from your grandmother. Okay, so <laughs> and how much was how much was LA? Six forty. Right. So I said four hundred dollars cheaper. So, all right. How much did I? My have, problem like, is this: you are mm-hmm. ingenuitive. You know what that means? No, you're gonna tell me. I don't know what it means either. Okay. <laughs> Yo, you really are that parent? Is that the parent that you are? Do you just be saying big words to your child that you know? know. You don't know what the fuck. Oh, shit.
the yeah, quality play, of being play clever, Scrabble. original, Challenge and inventive. That it meant what I thought it meant. The, the quality of being clever, original, and inventive. Oh, Thanks to Strong Throat over here. Hey, hey yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. <laughs> Gotta listen to Heart of Soul for the context. Never. Mm-mm. You know that if I saw effort, you know. Now, combat this. I want to hear you, any of y'all combat this. If I saw her come up, matter of fact, that day, I spent $1,000 on her. On my own. By the way, is that true? It is. is. that true? Okay. By the, day, the same day that you... That, that was you, a Nike day? That was a Nike day. By the, sa- the, the same... Day, it was fire. I'm sorry. I'm on no, your side. No, no, no. This is another day. This is oh. another day. This is last week. Oh, you're talking about when we went to Nike for grandma? Yeah. No, that was oh. for grandma. That was for her grandmother. This is last week. Out the blue. I'm just like, yo, I want to do these things for you. Pick some things out. And we ordered them. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Same day you bought the ticket? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you know I'm willing yo. to spend the bread. You know I have the bread. You're telling me that if you gathered half or whatever and expressed genuine, I want to go with you, stop playing, I wouldn't have copped that ticket. Okay. Let us stop this here because I understand where everything is. Like, we get it. Mm -hmm. Who was wrong? Zoom, please tell us. Was it Tahoe but or I feel was it like his he daughter? Said more of his story than I said more. Of mine. No, because I have I I have I have something to say to that though. But she needs to speak her for her moment. She needs to speak her. She needs to speak her. Point. If you have something to say to that, I just wanted to let it be known that I had the ticket before he spent the thousand dollars, so I didn't know that at when I had booked the ticket, I didn't know that he was willing to spend, you know, so much because he told me before that I had to get my own ticket, and I exp- the I expressed to him the day before I left Atlanta that for some time now I've just, I've been doing a lot for my like for myself like you know paying for some stuff by myself so when he said that to me I didn't think like you know yeah because uh, that's a whole another situation but we, I'm not gonna blow you up for off that all right so let's go y'all vote you can't refuse to vote Rachel vote and I booked my ticket <clears throat> just you know to throw by out the there. way by I the only way, went to Atlanta who because booked he, your who booked your he ticket? was already who booked your ticket me who paid for your oh, grandma? Who booked your ticket? Me. You didn't listen to a, my. You a didn't scammer. Listen to, she paid wait, a scammer to, told, to swipe the ticket. I told you on the phone. <laughs> then I say she paid a I told you on the phone. To, she she mama, paid a listening. scammer to swipe do, the ticket. Yeah, By the way, she paid a scammer who yeah, I grew so. up with, and we both <laughs> have. It's That's one of her best friends That's that is a scammer. That's not the story. <laughs> That's not the story. You you telling a fib right now? Okay. I said that he had tickets and he was like he was like he had tickets just random uh, uh, tickets. No, he tickets. for Atlanta because he had the Father's Day <laughs> cookout. Okay. So he already had a deal, whatever he whatever whoever he worked it out with, mm. and he was like, so I could get this for you, da da da. But he was taking too long. Do we not and know I how seen airplanes a ticket, work? Can I you just have random that was airplane cheaper. tickets? Is that a thing? No. With, with no yeah. name on it? Can you just have random airplane tickets to anybody's ticket? He, he uh, flight can. anywhere? It wasn't that. That's what he... Okay, this is what I'm saying. He had like... He was like, okay, I could get the ticket for you this much. This, this is what you got to pay for. But I didn't know. But I didn't I know. know. It's okay. And, and I'm it's like... It's not your fault. He, his price was actually higher than the price that I found myself. And he was taking too long. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to just get this one. You're taking long. It's already higher. I'm, it's, it's fine. Like... Okay. Fine. So you cannot say that I got the ticket from him because I didn't. Okay. He put it out there and I denied. Okay. okay. So in this homie court, first of all, I have so much to say. <laughs> but in this homie court, That's all right. I already know I lost because y'all some haters. Can you shut the fuck up? <laughs> yes. 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 In this ruling of homie court, Tahoe, you actually won. I don't want to win. I know you don't want to win. I know this is not the... And I think that it's funny that the one that you win is the That's one that not gets right. your Yo, y'all suck! <laughs> the one y'all gets your... suck! <laughs> but this is what I will say. Y'all suck. Now, Why would future, you do... Stop. Now in the future, you know you can move a little bit differently. But what I will say to you is play stupid games, win stupid prizes. And... That's what this all boils down to. Don't test people. You know 
that it would have been better for you or you would have liked it to spend this time with your daughter, but you had already purchased that ticket to L.A., it's nothing to say, yo, baby girl, I really would rather you come with me. I said that. That's not the way that this story was told. That's not the way that the story was told. And because you decided to put her to the test, she did what was more feasible for her at the time. It wasn't a battle, in my opinion, between be with my dad or not be with my dad. It was what can I afford? What can I not afford? I can't afford this. And you should have said, listen, try to make it work. And if you can't, I got you. That's not what you said. That's an offer she can't refuse. And it goes against what she, I knew she really wanted to do. But the, I did but not want said, to ruin right, her weekend stop. for her. Wait, wait, I also no, no, did no, no, not no. want to be a prop for her weekend. But wait, so if you want to go that. with your friends, go with your friends. I get that. Don't sit here and make it seem as if you wanted to be a I Father's Day that. weekend. Because Father's Day means something to me. Don't make me a prop in but your you schemes. I got you. I got you. Listen, I get what you're saying. It's not that you're wrong. This is a both and type of a situation. It's not right. It's not wrong. But what I'm saying to you is sometimes you have to just you have to make your 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 stance plain. She said multiple times that she did not want to go with them. She did not. She say also that not to you, but she said it here. She also said multiple times that she had already been back and forth to Atlanta a couple of times. Like being there was not that serious. Georgia. But if you were going to Cali. Why would she just sit home? Her friends is here. Her dad is here. She can't afford to be with her dad, but she can afford to be with her friends. I'm going to go where I can afford. But sometimes you have to, your kids know that you love them, but your kids don't necessarily know that you want them. Does that make sense? No. It does. No. It does. You, don't, she, you just don't want to hear it. She, she knows. She knows that you love her. She knows, she knows that too. you. But you didn't say it. Sometimes knows, you gotta say uh, it. I prove it all the time. Stick up for me, little. You <laughs> but you didn't. I'm only. I'm not talking about life. I'm talking about this situation. I feel like if you would have said, "Listen," she said, she "I'm sorry. I don't want to speak for you." Did you really want to go to Atlanta? Atlanta? You, you had the time of your life. No, I first of all, I did the same thing that we do here in Atlanta. Like it's not. It wasn't that serious okay. to me. So why'd you go? Cause I would have been bored. You you were after, leaving. You knew I was here, and you you still went. My grandmother said, "If you do not go and you waste my money on a ticket, you have to pay it back." I'm now like, that's another thing. I want to take my mom to home court. Can we get my mother up here? <laughs> <laughs> my mother, when she faces I went my mother, when she faces my mother with the situation, my dad doesn't want me to go. After I'm here mm -hmm. and everything, my dad doesn't want me to go. I'm gonna stay. I'm 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 thinking about staying here. Her grandmother says to her, if you don't go, you have to pay me my money back. I mean, like, it was more of a conversation, but she was like, well, Danae, like, you know, that, that would be a waste of money. You can't get your money back. You don't have insurance on the ticket. And if you don't, you would have to be paying me that back because, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you go, you don't have to pay me back. Because but if you do, if you don't go, you have to pay me back. Wow. Bring her up here. Call her. Your mother gonna come up here. She go wild us up. She go wild us up. No, I don't want to make her cry. <laughs> oh no, she go wild us up. She's gonna be like, she's listen. She's not gonna understand the joke. She's yeah. not gonna understand the joke. No, but I think I, I've been in Danae's situation before with my dad, and my dad is not an expressive person, and he's not an emotional person. So he'll do things, and I'm like, Daddy, why you didn't tell me? He was like, Oh, because I know that you would rather. You don't know shit. Ask me. You could just ask. Be like, Hey. Would you like to come here with me? Would you like to do this? My dad would be like, oh, I already know that you'd rather hang with your friends. I've known these niggas for 15 years. I don't got to see these niggas no more. I've been to Atlanta a hundred times. They ain't shit else to do. It's just brunch. You be dead by six o'clock. You sleep the rest of the time. You might throw up a little bit. By the time it's time for you to wake up to the club, you either ready or you're not ready. And you go to sleep and you do this shit all over again. That's it. Sometimes you might rather spend time with your dad. I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. How you feel? I feel like... I honestly feel like the only reason why the situation was dragged out is because my father didn't get a chance to go to L.A. Because I feel like <laughs> if he was in L.A., then he probably would have just been like, all right, well, have fun, but... So you think that I try to ruin your plans because my plans got ruined? Yep. Yeah. Yep. And but I under like I under, I, get that. I understood the the story behind it like it was like oh you didn't you you wanted to go here and I'm like okay 
So you think that I really didn't want you to come to LA? No, I think you did. So why are you saying that I'm just trying to ruin your I, plans? Okay. This is what I think. I think that, you know, you were, you decided to go to LA, you know. Wait, very quickly. Be, I'm sorry. Let me circumvent. To... Let me just make it clear my point. Do you think that if I was in LA and I found out in LA that you went to Atlanta, that I wouldn't have been disappointed? Um, I'd have been like, oh, well. I think you would have been like, Mm. A little shady, like you know, your usual, your usual thing. Like mm, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you would have been like, I'm disappointed in you. I just fell away, and I just, you know, I don't think it would have been that. Why do you? What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> Trump, go ahead. Let's let's hear what Trump has to say. Uh, I'm I'm very much entertained because I actually did walk up into the conversation that y'all had, and. It's funny to me, Danae, how much you're like your dad. Mm -hmm. I walked in on y'all guilt tripping each other. <laughs> and you're so talented at it. And Tom was like, oh, I wonder where you get that from. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I got it. This, this was pretty even. I probably, I didn't want to sway the jury, but I, I probably would have voted for my goddaughter if I had a vote, if I was part of the jury. But Tahoe, I understand your point. You did want her to come to LA. You did express that. Your tone was definitely like, well, you got to figure it out how you're going to get there. But you were very welcoming. You even told her you would find a way to get her into the event. And so she's not just sitting there. You know what I mean? So you wanted her there. You expressed that. I think that there's fault on both sides. Yeah, there's a lot of fault on both sides. Yeah. Um, but you know, it's, a crazy. it's a learning experience. Both of y'all are hilarious. Both of y'all be guilt tripping. Sorry. And I thought this shit was awesome. Nigga said, it's not homie court, this family court. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to say, for one, I did want her to go to Atlanta. I wanted her to have her life. I mm -hmm. want her to have her fun. I just want to be honest and not play, right? And be be deliberate about mm -hmm. what you say to people. Intentional. And, and, and don't play with their feelings. Not saying that you meant to. But I knew you wanted to go. And even if you're saying right now, I didn't, I didn't. This is an experience. When you were in college, you want to do y'all. Mm -hmm. And it's like almost as like me going to Father's Day in L.A. Because I had an event to go out there when I probably should have just been here with the kids. Which is why somebody, which is, yeah. This is why I wasn't able to uh, take the flight. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I had to stay here. Right. Um, it's the exact choice that you made on Father's Day because you wanted to go out there. And I'm cool with that. I love you to fucking death. I would never think that any one decision means something to our relationship. I didn't want to play games. And I thought that the games at that point of... Because I, I contributed to it, I suppose. I contributed mm -hmm. to it. You did. Um, but I feel like I was playing the same game you was playing. Because mm -hmm. I knew you wanted to go. And you did exactly what I knew you was going to do. So it was like, let's not play games with each other. At the end of the day, I'll make sure I sent you some bread. We spoke. A quote, right? Like, there's no, this is no shade towards our relationship. I love you to death. It's lovely. That's beautiful. Can I and bring my girl to homie court now? <laughs> Why are you trying to bring everybody to homie court? Because she calls her. <laughs> the minute she calls her and this one over here starts choosing sides. <laughs> not even trying to hear my side of the story. That's why she ain't got nothing to say right now. I'm like, you're supposed to be on my side. Not As really. a partner. Mm. Not really. That's the, the whole partner thing is like, wait, you was wrong, you was wrong. That's what she was trying to say. Like, that's it. It wasn't, oh, I'm against you. It was, I'm just going to let you know that I feel like you, you got to take an L on this one. Yeah. Whatever. Yo, don't you have things to do? <laughs> yeah, I do. Say it goodbye so to nice the people. Here. Bye. You, I hope babe. you do something like, I want you to bring your podcast back or something. I need you to do something because you and your dad, y'all are like the same person. The same. She's <laughs> Yo, you a hater. Bro. You know you got mics right there. You heard what I said. <laughs> so what I said. Why, why did you? So, have to but throw what me did I down? say? What did I say? I don't know. Like you don't know shit exactly because I don't. I know you said I'm Caribbean as fuck. I could whisper. Did I say something foul about your daddy? No, 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 no. no. And you're going to hold the line for her. It was so nice being here. It was. Come was back it more often. Is going to be? I didn't think it was going to be bad at all. 
<laughs> I love her. I love her so much. Oh my god, I can't wait for Parker to get older so I can actually like like her. Yeah, I took her to the fucking homie court. It's my homie. There's a court. Like, what else am I supposed to do? She cheated and she fucking went somewhere. Like, how? Seriously. Come on, seriously. How do you go to a Father's Day barbecue without your father? How do you fly away with people and their families and leave your family somewhere else for a family day? Optics matter. I don't understand. How do you take a flight to Atlanta when you're dead for Father's Day? Keep in mind it's Father's Day. When your dad invited you on a flight with him to Cali. Okay, he took me to homie court because I went to Atlanta for Father's Day weekend with my peers. But I only went because he was supposed to go to California that weekend. So that's why I was there in the court. Do you think it was necessary for him to bring you to? to I don't, court? honestly. But I guess. <laughs> All right. Is there anything else you want to say about your, your case? Um, I just want to say that I acted off him. So just keep that in mind. I wouldn't have went if he wasn't going. You know what? I don't have anything else to say. <laughs>